I feel no man don't do a lot He took the stand, he broke my heart I keep that fire on me like Jah Lose two of y'all, take one out Cause we gon' spin like no tomorrow Can't sit back like Rosa Parks Just hit your melon Only respect no nigga that tellin' No nigga that tellin' So just quickly before we start, I'm going to show you the video in the daytime. I'm also going to leave the link in the description for the Airbnb booking. The link to this place, stuff. A few people asked me how much it was and where it was and whatever. It's a good location. It's in Lamai. Le, 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 Le it's in Lamai. It's about 20 minutes to get to Chawang, which is like the main place. Lamai has bars and stuff and whatever. This is the street that it's on which is really nice and quiet and secluded and just out the way. It's perfect in that sense. And obviously you've got a lot of space in here. There's enough space for a big 4x4, probably maybe two cars if you're lucky, but definitely space for that. Oh yeah. And then you come through and this is what it looks like in the daytime. So I'll start the tour properly in a minute. But um, yeah, and this is the greenery that you can't see in the dark and things like that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna do a villa tour and the last time i did a tour was in the flat in london if anybody remembers it and i quite enjoyed it and you lot seem to enjoy it as well so at the moment i'm in samui in thailand and i'm staying at a villa so i thought i'd do a villa tour anyway so let's start at the front of the house let's start at the beginning uh, as you should i think there we go this is the little street that i'm on pretty dark probably but Nice. This is the front of the villa. This is the Ford Ranger that I've hired when I'm out here. Great car, by the way. Love this. Wish it was a Raptor. Couldn't find one in the time that I had, but love this. Little garage. So straight away, you're greeted by a lovely pool, which is great. And I absolutely love the lighting and how beautiful it looks. It's so fresh. It looks like you could just, like, just eat it. Look at that. It's so fresh. Great. Anyway, over here, I'm actually a bit annoyed about this, and I'll explain why. I'm annoyed because this cabana is lovely, and I keep working over here. It's even got, I don't know if you can see, because it's pretty dark, down there under the seats there's a plug socket which is really cool oh god my fucking video just scared the shit out of me man rendering a video just completed and all i hear is my fucking <laughs> put some maggies in my house okay you got a grass area over here you've got a tree sun lounges for when it's sunny which it actually has been i'll just put a cigarette out because that's no good to anybody so the layout of this house is bedroom one well no my bedroom is over there so i'm going to call that bedroom one bedroom one bedroom two bedroom three there's like a grass bit around there that goes round. front door that obviously doesn't get used because you're coming in and out with a car lovely that's a walkway some nice black stones which is cool i saw a lizard under here though so that doesn't make me feel very good and then the bedrooms what's cool about the bedrooms is they're all en suite and there's no like main bathroom i think it's quite a cool setup and instead you have this like out bathroom for what i have assumed is like when you come out of the pool you know and you're maybe a little bit drippy a little bit wet go in there great so there's no like main bathroom but i think that's quite cool and sleep you don't need one because everybody has their own individual bathroom and all the individual bathrooms are, are good so this is my room it, it may be a little bit messy because i haven't really tidied it up properly yet but very comfy bed lots of pillows usually pillows annoy me girls have lots of pillows and i don't think that men should have lots of pillows because it's just why do you want that many pillows just lie down and sleep but quite comfy actually TV, nice set of drawers that obviously I'm not using. Suitcases unpacked. Mykonos vibes, maybe? Santorini? No, maybe with my white trousers, it helps. Didn't do that on purpose, but obviously I'm subconsciously clever. These lights are cool. I like these a lot. My friend doesn't like these. He hit his head on them, chasing a lizard out of the room. But that's got AIDS as well. Oh! <laughs> obviously, wardrobes. Light comes on in the wardrobe. We like that. We liked that <laughs> bathroom. So these are the en-suites. They're all the same. They're all the same as this. So you've got one window either side with mosquito net. So you can let a nice airflow go through. And then you've got your sink. You've got light up mirrors. If you want to be an OnlyFans model or something. Toilet down there. Bum gun. Good. So that's bedroom one. But all the bedrooms are pretty much the same. So I'll show you one more just to confirm that. Because I know that you're really interested. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm not gonna bother going around. Okay, fine, I'll fucking light in here as well. So this is the other bedroom. What's actually quite good, I will say, Ben came to stay the other day, made his bed up. Well done, lad, we like that. So yeah, you've still got another TV, you've got this stuff, you've got cupboards at the end there, and then bathroom, pretty much the same. Double-headed shower, towel, sink, only fans light, toilet, window. Yep, yeah, so that's the guest bedrooms or the other bedrooms, whatever. Oh, 
I'll switch the lights off now. Do the effort I go through breaking my back for YouTube, manual labor there. And it's actually quite nice. You're sort of straight onto the pool, obviously because it's not a massive compound, it's just a small villa. Um, and obviously this bedroom is the same. I won't go into that because that'll just bore you all. And then this lovely outside area, seating area, whatever you want to call it. Lovely fan underneath. Every room has a fan and aircon. Bedrooms, they all have the same aircon and fan. So you've got the cabana over there that you can work from with plug sockets. Then you've got this area as well with plug sockets too. This video should be out by now. So that's that's me of no interest to anyone. This bit's cool. So lovely, lovely living room. Got a little chair. I like things like this because I used to dislike things like this because I just thought, who the fuck is going to sit there? It's just pointless. You've got sofas, sofas. You've got stools in the kitchen, which we'll get to in a minute. Who's going to sit there? But actually, it's the same as the other stuff in the bedroom. It feels kind of Santorini Mykonos like I like it it's good best part of the house apart from the pool and the cabana and the outside seating table and the bedroom and the garage but then yeah that is after all that stuff it's the <laughs> best part of the house Samsung sound bar which is very good ask the neighbors they like it a lot sofas very comfy comes with a nice little scented thing which is good again fan massive aircon to fill this whole space which is wicked a little laundry room, a little utility room with an iron that I used because I needed it. Washer, dryer, or washer, dryer, I don't know which one's which because I haven't used them yet. My washing's still in there. But yeah, that's that. And then, of course, there's another Mykonos style seat there that has probably never been sat on. And then you've got the kitchen. So the kitchen is actually cool. I like the black surface. I really enjoy that. I think it's cool. And you actually don't feel like you're getting dirt on it. It doesn't feel very dirty. I mean, I haven't used it apart from this packet of fruitellas that's been here for like three days. I have to say though, one of these fruits, I think it's like this one it's like a thai fruit well you know what i mean it's not a national fruit but it may be a national fruit i don't know point being it doesn't smell very nice fridge a double fridge which is clever um when we arrived which was nice as well we had a stock full of them cokes waters which was nice and i obviously drunk all of them uh, and then replaced it with chocolate buttons and milkshake because it's me don't forget and then obviously kitchen you've got everything you could need you've got a microwave you've got a blender you've got a coffee machine and you've got your cooker i don't know if you can actually see that because it is still a little bit dark and you've got a nice smooth slick sink a black sink is wicked man I, I have never been anywhere with a black sink before but i've got to say it's smart as shit and i love it very much dishwasher obviously oven so yeah that's cool there's a paddle and then one of my favorite things, apart from pool, the cabana, the bedroom, the garage, the TV, after that is these lovely, lovely doors. So these are really cool because you obviously don't want to use aircon when you've got all the doors or windows open. Obviously it's just a waste of aircon and this and the other. But actually, when you shut the doors, obviously it's nice and cool in here. But one of the things that I noticed, when you open these doors, without catching your finger in it, if you do. With the two fans in here on, and the aircon, and the fan out, outside up there, this outside area stays quite cool, which is really good. Yes, it means a little bit extra electric, but so worth it in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, man. It's not massive. Ooh, my first favorite thing that I've got, above the pool, above the cabana, above the TV, above the garage, above the sliding doors, is this. In the bathroom, Okay, I'll preempt what I'm saying. I'll give you a picture, yeah? You're on the toilet, you're sitting on TikTok, you're sitting on your phone, you're sitting on Instagram, or you're doing something productive and you're replying to emails or, or monitoring a trade or whatever it may be, and you think, oh, I should probably get up in a minute. I've been sitting here for an hour, can't move my legs. You know how it gets. And so you look next to you at the side of your leg and you're on the toilet, and I'll give a demonstration. So you're on the toilet, yeah? And you look next to you, look at that. Look how perfect that is. Chuck that there and up you get. You finish your toilet, you use your bomb gun and you're off. That everybody is the villa tour. That's that over, don't worry. You haven't got to put up with it anymore. I actually really like how lit up it is. So if you come over here and you sort of look from a far back perspective, it just looks really nice. And apparently I'm the second person to stay here. So that's good too. It means no activities most likely have been done in the pool and sofas and this, that and the other. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if it was a boring video, I'm sorry. They all are, what do you want me to do? But I will see you guys in another video. If you haven't, like and subscribe because I never really tell anybody to do that, but apparently I've got to start doing it because people don't do it unless they're told, which I didn't realize. I just assumed that if people liked what you were doing, they'd just subscribe. And if they liked it, they'd like it. But apparently you meant to say like and subscribe and comment and whatever. So go and do that. And I will see you guys soon in the next video. Ciao. Took the stand, he broke my heart I keep that fire on me like Jack Lose two of y'all, take one out